Are we ready, Ryan? Good morning, and welcome to the Innovation Center here at Zycon's U.S. headquarters in Chicago. Uh, this morning, we're going to be showing you the Zycon SX30,000. Now, the SX30,000 is Zycon's fastest and most productive duplex digital production press. This morning, we're going to be printing uh, a job that looks like this when it's finished. It's a direct mail piece with variable content, uh, different languages, different images. And when it's finished, it'll be uh, cut, trimmed, and folded. As you can see, we're running it three images across the web. Now, the SX30000 is a dry toner press. It uses a dry toner process. And our dry toner is manufactured using 100% green energy. That means it's highly sustainable. There's no VOCs. There's no odor. And it is uh, de-inkable. So any paper printed on the Zycon press is recyclable. This is a very important uh, point for us here at Zycon because sustainability is an important topic. We are running at the top speed of 98 feet per minute, which translates to 428 US letter pages per minute, printing both sides in a single pass. That's due to Zycon's unique single pass duplex, te duplex technology. We'll let you see that what's coming out of the presses uh, is printed front and back, and it is printing both sides at the same time. Today we're printing four colors over four colors, a traditional uh, process four color. There is the option for a fifth color as well. The fifth color station can be used for a gamut expansion toner. If you need to hit some of those process or, or those uh, Pantone colors that, that can't be matched with process colors alone. It can also be used for a clear security toner. Security printing is something that's a, a great fit with the Zycon technology. Our 1200 DPI quality allows you to print micro text. It can be read under a, a magnification loop. Clear toner illuminates under UV light. So that can be used for security features as well to have hidden text uh, even barcodes that can be read with a UV scanner. Another great feature of the Zycon technology is that it does not require any pretreatment or coating of the substrate before printing. This is a, a standard uncoated text weight stock that we're running this morning. There's no, again, no special coating, no treatment needed for the toner of the Zycon process. Today, we're running in a roll-to-roll -roll configuration. This press can also be configured as roll-to-sheet, but uh, today we're running roll-to-roll, -roll and we'll kind of walk you through the various components of our installation here at the Innovation Center. To start, we have our large unwinder. This can handle a roll of up to 59 inches in outer diameter or a total weight of 1,800 pounds. From there, it goes through the splice table. This is, it has a built-in splice table to make changes of substrate a uh, simple process. From there, if you choose, there's a web cleaner that it goes through to clean any dust off the, off the paper before it feeds into the press. <clears throat> As it feeds into the press, we have an active aligner here. This is sensing the edge of the web as it feeds into the press and keeping the web centered as it moves through the press. From there, we move into our conditioning unit. Now at Zycon, what we mean by conditioning is removing any excess moisture that might inhibit toner transfer. This is an electrophotographic process. We're charging the toner, we're charging the paper. Yeah. And as you know, uh, moisture is going to affect conductivity. So if there's any excess moisture in the paper, that's taken out through the heated rollers here. <clears throat> These are the dosing modules for our toner. Black, magenta, cyan, yellow, and the fifth color if we were to be using the fifth color. 
A toner can be added on the fly while the press is running. If we were to require additional toner, the press would let us know. The light that you see at the top, the white bar would begin to flash yellow. And we'd also see a, a lighted letter on the side of the press indicating which toner needed to be added. So if we needed to add yellow toner, we just grab a bottle, <clears throat> shake it up, and then we just peel off the seal and load the toner into the press while the job is running. At this stage of the print process, as the print comes out of the press, we have our what we call our quality management module. There's a built-in spectrophotometer and a registration camera that's consistent, continuously checking print quality while the press is running so that you get the same quality at the end of the print run that you got at the beginning or the same quality six months later that you had six months prior. The unit that Ryan is focusing on right now is what we call our web finishing module. The WFN applies uh, a very thin layer of a water wax silicone mix. It adds almost nothing to the cost of the printed piece, but it does provide some protection for scuffing and it helps to minimize static as well. That's now this, this uh, yeah, we typically press configuration yeah, you know, just to give it is that. kind of unusual here in the Innovation Center because on occasion we need to go roll to sheet rather than roll to roll. That's so we cover. do have a web cutting it's module as that's well. So the web cutting module is installed, but we're not using it today. We're just, it's it's disabled for, for today's demonstration. If we were running a roll to sheet configuration, uh, following the web cutting module, we would most likely have a pile high stacker. Uh, our pile high stacker does exactly what you would think. It's a, it's a, it piles a high stack of printed sheets that can then be taken for finishing or it can go roll to roll as we're doing today. And then this roll can be taken to a finishing station where you do your sheeting and slitting and <clears throat> whatever and other processes need to be done. Those are the basics of the press itself. I would like to say a little bit about our digital front end, what we call X800, because that's a, another key feature of the Zycon technology. Get that whole, whole workstation, get everything off. So what you see here? Yeah. He'll just give you a, just a quick overview. Is Zycon's X800 uh, workflow system? It's really a complete workflow. It's not just a rip. It's uh, it's an entire process that's that's open. Uh, and configurable for, for your specific needs. The fact that it's customizable helps to allow you to minimize downtime and increase productivity. It allows intelligent load balancing. <clears throat> There's post-rip imposition capabilities, which is a very nice feature. And if you do ICC color management, all of that is possible within the Zycon Press. As I mentioned, we have an inline spectrophotometer to measure color during the print run. Uh, if you are doing ICC color management, you can apply your profiles here and uh, run to those specific profiles. The modular architecture allows you to separate the pre-press functionality from the operation of the press. That means your pre-press department can do all the job preparation, imposition, uh, color control, all of that. And the press operator can focus on running the press, maintaining the press and getting the work out. Uh, another feature of X800 is the capacity for variable data built into the software. You can add text, you can add barcodes, QR codes. These can be variable, they can be static. Um, you can add sequential numbering. You can add, uh, again, if you're using the clear security toner, you can add content that is not visible without UV light, but uh, is, is there as a security feature. Most of our customers currently use uh, a, a PDF workflow, uh, but but if you your file format is 
PostScript, EPS, TIFF, JPEG, the RIP can handle all of those file formats. We use a hot folder method. The hot folder is basically a, 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 what we call an input channel. You drop your PDF file into there. It applies whatever is defined in the job ticket. So if you have um, a specific imposition template that you use, drop. let's say you're running a, um, a book type job, it will take that PDF file and impose the pages in the format that's, that's set out in the job ticket. That's the X800 component. The other major component is what we call my press. Now this is the operator's interface with the press itself. This is where I tell the press what material I'm loading on. So it uses the correct print settings for that material. This is where the press tells me if I need to do routine maintenance, if anything in the press needs special attention, if something is not working correctly, uh, if I need to add toner in addition to the signals that you see on the outside of the press, the software also gives you signals to let you know this information. It's a very user-friendly interface, uh, very easy to understand. All the features and data that the operator needs to know is readily available. I can see how much of the print medium is left on the unwinder. I can see how much toner is left. Right now, all of my toner modules are full. The status of the conditioning, uh, I can see that I've done my daily maintenance. I can see that my color control and my density targets are, are on track. Color registration is on track. And again, it's a very easily visible interface for the operator to use to know what's uh, what the status of each element of the press and of the job he's running. Those are the basics of the Zycon Press and X800. At the moment, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have if you do have any questions or if uh, any of my colleagues there in the booth feel I've lost over something or left something out, please, please let me know and I'm, I'm here to help. Okay. Perfect. No questions? Yeah, he's good. Okay. He's good. Definitely. No, Jim, no questions. Great job. No questions. It's all covered. Okay, great. Well, I hope everything's going well there in Atlanta and um, we're going to have more demos as the day goes on. So please stop by again and uh, visit the Zycon booth. Great. Thank you, Jim. Thanks, Donna. Thank you.